Okay, so, this is Dragonstone, and I am playing Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Yes, I have, I did mention in my first Mirror's Edge video, which, okay, it isn't up now, but it will be before this, that I can guarantee you. Um, well, you probably have already seen it, but if any look, you will have. Uh, I am going to play these in chronological order, and it's been a very long time since I've played this Prince of Persia. Actually, that is really loud, that's going to drown me out. Sounds. Music. Low. Low, damn you. Why won't you go lower than... There, there we go. Voices, sound, I'll keep, I'll keep them the same. Just the music. Yes, I would like to keep them the same. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, I was playing these in chronological order, not order that they came out in, chronological order. So for those of you that don't know, that's Sands of Time, The Forgotten Sands, The Warrior Within, and then The Two Thrones. That is the order I'm playing them in. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, it's tough luck. Uh, I'm also going to be watching all the cutscenes in this with complete silence because it's been a very long time since I've seen this, since I've played this game. I mean, a very long time. I played this when I had the PS2 and that is ages ago. That is really long ago, that. So here we go. Loading. There is a water drop. Most people think time is like a river. The flow swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time. Yes. And I can tell you, mm. they are wrong. See my nakedish time woman? is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. Where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. Now, my son, this is a Just about makes it through because that's just the way that Prince of Persia works. Do you think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought? Or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell? If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment, I thought of one thing only. The honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. Actually, I'm just going to very quickly turn the subtitles on. Uh, graphics? New. Game? New. Yeah, this is freaking terrible. And... Freaking hell, there's no graphics, there's no subtitles even. There's no graphics, that's freaking terrible. So yeah, when it comes to the Persia games, personally I think this is the worst one. And if, if you ag agree with me, kudos to you. If you don't, well then you're an idiot. Because, the first one... Ah! Ah! What? Don't do that. So, yeah. So stop doing that! Ah! This is freaking rubbish. So, yeah. That is why, because it's just terrible. I mean, graphics weren't great, how did it be? Sorry, I have the hiccups for some strange reason. Or something similar to the hiccups, but not quite hiccups. So yeah, the graphics weren't up to scratch. Even for its timing, they weren't brilliant. Let alone nowadays. Uh, die! Oh, damn you all. Die! Fine! Don't love- Whoa! That was close. Is that in bed? Yes it is. Close. That's not what I want. Close. There we go. Yeah, I've had to actually bind my keys manually, and I have... 
absolutely no idea what my keys are brilliant as much anymore. What was I saying? He's on the floor, he's down. Yes, what does that mean? Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, the, uh, this, this was a... Many men that day sought to win honour and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, You are the noblest of my warriors. From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. How nice. And I have to go down and find them. So yeah, this one was the worst one, because let's be honest, it is relatively shit. Even by then, by the standards that then it is a crap game. What do I do? Woo! Winage. Okay, so I can't do that. Looks like I have to drop. Fine, I'll drop. So, I, can't, I really gotta stop, stay on the same line of thought. So yeah, worst game, because... Oi, oi, none. Worst game, because it's just, it just is. Yeah! <laughs> Yes, he's just said he will not do it by tasting blood, so what does he do? He instantly goes on a killing spree. Ow. Ow. Yeah. Go go on. Kill him. Yeah. Right. Stop doing that. That is another reason. It seems like after every guess, I'm this is giving the game, and I don't remember much about it, but after every single fight, that happens. So far, at least. Except for I think the first enemy, but still. There are, lo Whoa. There are loads of reasons why this is a worst game out of the bunch. Primarily, it was because it's the first one. They probably didn't know a huge amount of what they were doing. And yet, okay, it's Ubisoft, so they knew quite a fair bit. But still, they certainly knew how, they knew how to make a good franchise. I'll tell you that. But they certainly didn't know how to make a good game. So at least, start a game. Still takes about a second speed, I think. But it's been a long time. And I'll tell you something. When, when Assassin's Creed first came out, I thought it was a new Prince of Persia. I was hoping it was a new Prince of Oi! No! <laughs> No! Ah! Yeah! Winage! Back off! Winage! And I didn't know about that. Foul. Foul! Death to you. Slow mo- oh, It's done it to me again! I hate this game! I mean, yeah, okay, I like- I love it in the sense that I like it, but otherwise it's a crap game! Why am I playing this? Because I got it in a sale for god knows how much. Well, um, for like, three quid. Yeah, got it in a sale for about three quid. I don't drop. It's not that. Put that away. How do I drop? I don't want... Oh, it's LT, okay. Yeesh. So yeah, I got this game along with four other Prince of Persia, three other Prince of Persia's. If you've already seen my Memory's Edge video, first the training one at least, you should know this. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, that was really smoothly. Why is it running so smoothly? I'm not used to it. That is smooth, that is smooth. Okay, to say that, to say that this is, uh... Okay, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be in the because there's not a huge option in the mount. There's, I mean, graphics, there's... Graphics, you can't change the graphics at all. Down turn, I'm having that. Let's do that again. Okay, let's not do that again. Uh, what do I do, what do I do? There's what I do! Climb you. I really do have to stick with the same line of thought, because it's just... I'm just a muppet when it comes to line of thoughts. I can't remember much at all. That's it. I got this, what we were in, Forgotten Sands, and the two frogs. So I continue my story from here, the next time we're interrupted. And I can't do anything with that, so it all has to be mouse, the mouse-wise, so yes, I will save. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. I should very well hope you should. Running. There we go, see, see? That's how you do stuff. I suspect I need to wall run again. Jump! Please let me jump to the right point. I did, just about. So, yeah. As I said before, playing in the And there Florida. it lay, just out of reach. The dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. Hello, you're the most agile dude I know, Prince. Yeah, you actually you are the most <laughs> agile dude I know. I was going to go, nope, it is in fact uh, Altair or Ezio, but no, it is not. It is the Prince. Nobody else has this amount. Nobody else can run on the wall defying gravity. Ah! Can I do No, I can't. So, yeah, it has to be the prince. As a, as a video game character, significant video game character, it has to be the prince. I'm not really counting Fear for Mirror's Edge. Ah, yes. The puzzles I miss you so much. Avoid spiky poles. No shit. What gives you that idea? 
the fact that they're spiky. Run, 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 run! Hmm. Come on, Prince, you can do this. Oh, yes, of course. Wet boots equals cannot climb, which means I have just jumped for no apparent reason. Climb, Prince. Climb! Climb better than that. Dun dun! See, who else can do that? No one, I tell you. No one. What do I do? Point him away from the ledge and jump. And again. Away from the ledge and jump. Go away! Never in a million years. Uh. No! Oh, well, don't climb up. Don't climb up. Don't climb up. Well, I consider I have to press jump to climb up. Oh, for Pete's sake! Let's try this once. Oh, my God. I can see me getting very, very frustrated here. Very, very frustrated. Well, at least they managed to hit jump in the right area. Why is there so much damage around here? I mean, yes, the city is under attack, but still, no one else has this. Whoa. Whoa. Fine, I'll drop to that one. Climb back up. Climb back up again. See, it's just, they're just randomly collapsing for no apparent reason. Nothing else does this. It's really, you don't just randomly collapse. Nothing ever randomly collapses. You need to be, you need to hit it first. Jump away. That's right, Prince. Hug that pillar like you've never hugged that pillar before. The dagger of time. Climb down. Don't jump because that's a suicidal mission. This. Why is there so much destruction everywhere? I can't, don't need that, so that's fine. Don't run across, run up! Oh, I can see me getting very frustrated at this game. I already know the special actions, thank you. I do not need you telling me special actions. No, yeah! Yes, I already know about the wall jumping ability. Give me the dagger. That is crap graphics. That is unbelievably crap graphics for a dagger. Rewind time. He conveniently has a dagger holster there. I had what I came with for. With no dagger it's in time it before to get out. this. Now. Ah! Uh, once we- hey, I hit rewind! I just used two in one because I wasn't sure if it was actually rewind. God damn it! I can see this happening quite a lot, to be honest. Uh, no, no, never. Uh, I don't like this at all. Go, 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 go! Hit! Yep! No! Don't get hit, because if I move I'm probably going to die. No! No! Don't walk! Run, you muppet! There we go. I think we might finally be getting somewhere. Oh. Father, I have brought us honor and glory. <coughs> You promised me my choice of the Maharaja's treasures. That dagger! Surely you won't deny the lad a souvenir of his first battle. You may have your choice of all the Maharaja's other treasures. Except that hourglass. That will make a blind yes. for the Sultan of You can already tell that from just his reaction from the dagger and, and the hourglass. Some exotic animal that, that's it. It's, <coughs> ga it's pretty much game over. Yes. Yeah. Ah, and I now understand why he wants the dagger, the dagger, and the 
hourglass. King Sharaman is merciful in victory. Yes, I have you now, bitch, and you shall be my sex slave. No, never. <coughs> yeah, the vizier is Trust dying of something. Who has betrayed his master. Not take him into your own service, lest he betray you too. I learned the truth of this to my sorrow. The day that we arrived in Azad as the Sultan's honored guests. My friend, my friend, your visit brings joy and honor to my poor and humble dwelling. If only you'd given me time to prepare a proper cinematics of crap. The of Azad are famed throughout the world. And yet, the best is yet to come. I give you the sands of time. May the friendship between our kingdoms endure as long as time itself. The sang, why does it glow? I can tell you. Inside the hourglass is a marvel that no living man has seen. Alas, only the dagger can unlock the sands of time, and it belongs to a greater one than I. A young prince, dearer to his father than all the wealth of India. Perhaps he will oblige. Don't do it. No. No. Stop. You muppet friend, fool. Vizier. So yeah, you may have noticed that the Sands of Time game and the Sands of Time movie have essentially nothing in common. This is because, well, put, to be quite honest, I actually prefer the movie storyline to this, to the game storyline, but the game series is better as a whole. Each time I struck them down, they rose to fight again. I soon realized that only by taking into my own dagger the sands that possess them, I liberate them from their monstrous living death. Strike with the dagger! Take I'm the trying! Ow! Ow! Seriously, how many more times do I have to kill you? Finish! Again. Any more? Come on, I dare you to bring more. Oh yes. See, as I thought. a huge amount that you can do with the exit in terms of combat. It's really all it is is simply do that and constantly keep on easier to do it, just go one, two, bang. 
or you could just constantly fight your way through. Ah, yep! Now, there was no need for that. This way is the easiest way, it's just an instant kill. Every time. Don't walk into it, Prince. That's right. Run, girl. Run. I walk into it and... It shows me a premonition of the future. I find most hilarious is the fact that the prince can recount all of this in sub uh, <coughs> sublime detail. To the point, no, not new save. There we go. The Why is it running so slow? I need to change my mind. Done. Box. I'll start the story from here next time. So, yeah, that is the end of this. You think me mad? I can see it by the look in your eyes. You think my story is impossible? Perhaps I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. So yeah, I will in fact end this episode here because it's a good place to save it. And I will bring you the next episode soon-ish, hopefully. <laughs>